with profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Etc. Be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. The fruit that comes from the trees we feed seawater is by far sweet and best tasting fruit that I have ever had on where in the world. Why? Because all elements are available. Please stay with us to enjoy this illuminating Congress. The cow isn't drinking milk to get calcium. It's eating greens. Other cultures don't eat dairy. Karen Calabrese, vegan. Today's program will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Alexis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranium. Heartfelt greetings, considerate viewers. I am Chao Xin. The vibrant Singaporeans wish you peace and contentment as you strive for spiritual upliftment through the teachings of the ancient noble masters. Singapore is a sovereign island city-state located at the southern tip of Malay Peninsula in Southeast Asia. This modern metropolis is a prosperous center of finance, technology, trade, and tourism. The Port of Singapore is among the world's busiest harbors, and its international airport has won several awards. Singapore is also known for its lush greenery. Plants adorn the tops and sides of many buildings, and Singapore's Gardens by the Bay offers a wondrous experience of a cornucopia of plants from around the world. An indoor glass conservatory houses trees and plants from five continents, while an outdoor set of steel super trees act as both vertical gardens and eco-structures. Besides generating solar power and collecting rainwater, they offer a luminous arrangement of colors at night. Along with its green achievements is Singapore's support of diversity. The country's three main ethnic groups, Chinese, Malay, and Indian contribute cultural elements that can be appreciated by everyone. Public housing is designed so that all ethnicities are represented in each neighborhood, with schools also reflecting this multicultural blend. On Racial Harmony Day, held each year across Singapore, Students wear traditional dress and participate in festivities that celebrate all cultures. In December 2010, the first ever Middle East Vegetarian Congress was held at the Dubai International Exhibition Center, with the public invited to engage in an interactive exploration of the plant-based lifestyle organized by the Middle East Veg Group, or MiVeg supported by the Middle East Natural and Organic Product Expo 2010 and endorsed by the Dubai Health Authority of the United Arab Emirates. The event provided two days of seminars, workshops, and video telecasts with experts from around the world, along with rejuvenating veg cuisine. In addition, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, 
was specially invited to speak via live video link on being a vegan, an environmentally sustainable food choice, followed by a question and answer session with attendees and the launch of the Arabic edition of the international best-selling book, The Birds in My Life, which was already sold out pre-launch. The Birds in My Life was printed by United Printing and Publishing, a subsidiary of Abu Dhabi Media Company, or ADMC, owned by the government of Abu Dhabi. We now invite you to join us for part 16 of the conference titled The First Middle East Vegetarian or MeVeg Congress held in the city of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates on December 6, 2010 with Dr. Ahmed El Mazoum, former Deputy Director of the International Center for Biosailing Agricultural where he explains how adding ocean water to the water that we use for growing fruits and vegetables enables the produce to absorb the essential elements naturally occurring in the ocean water. Now, people started to grow their plants either in hydroponics or wherever and add some seawater because continuous application or addition of seawater to your plant, at least most of the elements available for your plants, rather than nothing, just giving it desalinated water or underground water. This is actually supposed to be a link, since there is no link, if you kindly go over this link, because I like always to show the people what's happening, because seeing is believing. Sometimes it's too, too, too difficult to believe me. So this is what people are saying, increase yield and decrease your cost. These are list of elements, ocean solution. People started marketing for ocean solution or ocean water in a way or another. And I'll tell you how Japanese are asking the Hawaiians to bring them or to sell them ocean water for so many purposes. Now, as I said, the latest trend, as the gentleman, the local gentleman here, Mr. Muhammad said, that he has vegetarian shawarma. This is the latest trend now. Bottle seawater. The latest trend in Japan, bottle deep seawater from Hawaii. Well, actually, Japan is an island. They still want to buy from Hawaiians bottled water. Hawaiian seawater may soon become the state's number one export if demand in Japan continues to grow. Because usually Americans follow Japanese and Japanese follow Americans. Here, seawater application for drinking, gardening, and growing crops. If you take a look at this, this is actually a bottling plant. They are not bottling Masafi or whatever, Arwa, whatever, Jima, Galfa, but they are bottling a seawater. Here, seawater application for drinking, gardening, and growing crops. Now, another trend with the Americans is that actually is called Salicornia. Actually, the native place for this, what we call it the indigenous to south of the United States, in Sonora Desert and that area, which is also adjacent to Mexico. So the Americans are trying to sell this plant, which actually we also grew it here in the United Arab Emirates long way back for producing seeds in order to produce oil, but it didn't work. But Americans now are using this plant, which is usually grown in saline water as a salad plant. And instead of adding salt, to the salad, they ask you to add what we call it sea greens, salicornia to the salad, and toss it all together, and they say, okay, it's a wonderful salad. Sea water has all essential elements, where other water does not have any other things. Now, frankly saying, in the United Arab Emirates, I talk about my grandmother. This is maybe very unique. You don't hear these things from, because you guys are all, you know, visitors to the United Arab Emirates. But we people of the United Arab Emirates, my, my grandmother used to rub my body with salt. As Sivani said that sitting in a ocean water or seawater is very important for your health. Before, our grandmother was a little bit afraid of, you know, sending us to go to the, to the sea. 
So they used to buy seawater salt, which is also available here in Sharjah and Dubai, and they used to rub our body with the salt, but we never knew what the reason, what was the philosophy behind that. Till now, we figured out that that was very important practice, and it's not there anymore. That's why our children are having all types of diseases. Why? Because, as I said, they are lacking an element or two or three or whatever. If your body wants that particular element and it doesn't receive it, then it will be in trouble. And this organ will affect the next one and the third one. Then you go to all types of doctors, Ayurvedic, homeopathic, modern, whatever. You never get a treatment because a certain thing is missing. So that practice is not there. And one of the most important things that you also hear here, if you have a blood pressure, once you go to a doctor, he said, okay, cut down in salts. What type of salt? The canned salt. What is that called? Sodium chloride. Now, iodide. Well, sometimes they are very generous. They are using, they are adding iodine into the salt. So how many elements you provide with that salt? Only three. Sodium and chloride and iodine. But where is the rest of the elements? Not available. So I recommend everybody from now on to use sea salt or rock salt. And it is available actually. It's available and it is very, very useful. And, and it contains all elements because actually you don't need sodium only for your cell osmoregulation. You also need potassium, you need calcium, you need all of these things. These are not available in sodium chloride because sodium chloride only, as I said, it got two plus one, three. Where is the calcium? To make the osmoregulation in the cells, at least to reduce your blood pressure or whatever, all of these problems of the cell in the human body. So I want to read this one. The fruit that comes from the trees we feed seawater is by far sweet and best tasting fruit that I have ever had on where in the world. Why? Because all elements are available. And as I said, the best farmer can only provide, if he's very generous, only 16 elements. Where most of the farmers here in the UAE, they only provide NPK. They say trace elements, TE, or rare elements. How many rare elements are in the, in the sack of the fertilizer? Maybe one or two. But if you use seawater, add it to your, for instance, if you have hydroponic or whatever, or even, you know, irrigation water, it is very, very important. So, conclusion, your food could be healer or killer. If you use sea salt, it may be a healer. If you use sodium chloride, it may be a killer because as we know, salt is among three killers. We know three killers. What are they? Sugar, salt, and sometimes they say white bread or white wheat or whatever. So try to avoid sodium chloride and go back to the nature, try to use sea salt or ocean salt or rock salt. And that's, if you need anything, please let me know. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And if there is any question. Yes. So I'm is there a difference between sea salt and rock salt? And yes. where is it available? Yes, there is. Rock salt actually, is there is salt which is collected in mountains. When you have all this water coming and water logging status, mm. and then you have all this water is collected there and evaporated. Then you get all salts in that. Tidal water comes and it collects and water is evaporated, salt is kept behind, and then we start to collect the white and clean salt. Which is better? In my opinion, sea salt. Let's put it this way. They're incomplete in elements. They're not 95. They, make, they could be 50, 60. It depends on the rock that water runs on. And where is sea salt now available? In it's available. Dubai? Where? It's available in Sharjah. It's very commonly available in Bar Dubai. Is it? I any Indian that. market, any Indian grocery shop, it is available very easily. Any grocery store. Adil also. Sea salt, you call it uh, Kala Namak. It's called black salt, actually. Yes, that's it. Professor, yeah. what you've said sounds absolutely fantastic. What are the plans to have saltwater farms in the UAE? So you're going to farm fruits and vegetables here using salt water? Well, actually, what I told you, in our centre, we have developed technologies 
where we use saline water, salt water, and our range of work or research from 7,000 parts per million all the way to 35,000 parts per million. And we have a gene bank which contains 9,500, we call it plants or genes or accessions in, in, in our terminology, we call it, who are believed to be salt tolerant plants. But very few of them are vegetables and fruits. Most of them are forages. So the future of agriculture is in our hands of ICBA, that green logo. It's believed that uh, the salts in the seawater uh, could be harmful to the plants, the excessive salts. So do we have to desalinate before gardening? No, 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 no. no. You no? don't have to bring big quantity. You can add a little bit. Accumulation of that water day by day, month by month, will help a lot. Plants to pick up all elements. You don't have to bring a bucket of saline water and put it for your plant because the next day they all will be sleeping. So you'd have to be very careful. Only a little bit. A glass of it added to the irrigation water. Or if you have a hydroponic, how people are now crazy about hydroponics. They usually add it to the nutrition solution. So is there an, any fixed proportion? How much of uh, seawater should be added? Well, well, actually, usually it's done by guess. But I, what I say, it's a matter of cumulative things. If you add one glass today, and um, for instance, another glass day after tomorrow, and by the time the season is over, the plant starts to pick up all elements that are available in saline water. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was really interesting information. Just one question. Uh, especially the women think that the salt water, uh, when they wash their hair, they're losing a lot of hair. Can you prove to us that actually saline water is okay for the hair as well? Oh. <laughs> it can make the, the vegetables. <laughs> I don't think so. I never had this problem, but I'll tell you where is my problem. I don't have hair over here. The reason is not because I'm too old. I'm really old. I'm 56. But I lived in a lane for, as you know, being a professor for the last almost 26 years. And the worst water in the whole UAE is the water in a lane because it is pumped from Abu Dhabi 200 kilometers and from different pumping station. And at each station, they have to use the chlorine. So when you take a bath, you, you smell chlorine coming out of the shower water. And that's very dangerous for your hair. That's why I lost my hair. But actually, the body itself, it's not that easy to, to absorb the salts that easily, unless there is a surfactant or something like that. You know, I don't think that that, that easy. Thank you. A big round of applause. Uh, Dr. Masoon, we have something for you. Uh, uh, Sandhya, could you come up on the stage and present? And also George. Sandhya will present it to you. It's just a little token for the time, the precious time you have given us. about how we can promote healthy living for children, so I'll be inviting her over on the stage. Make peace now, or you'll face hellfire soon. Faith-loving viewers, thank you for your presence today for the first Middle East Vegetarian or Mi Veg Congress on Words of Wisdom. Please join us tomorrow for part 17 of this illuminating conference. Coming up next is Ecuador, protector of nature's rights. Right after noteworthy news, may God bless you for the compassionate and noble deeds that you do. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. 
and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique WOW. Nuestros programmes ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com bar inclinada WOW. Нашите предавания предлагат много езици. Моля ви, ще suprememastertv.com на клона на черта schedule и suprememastertv.com на клона на черта WOW. 